Hi there students, it's Mr. Verzat. This video is a training video to show you how we operate using a digital platform for the submission of work and also for the tracking of any assignments that have been given to you. Now if you're one of my 2D students, you're frequently assigned homework and that homework is logged into a Google Doc and I'm going to show you how to access that today as well. I'm going to show you also if you're with some of my other students in other classes how you submit your work and how you should organize your Google Drive in order to have success in this class. For many of you, this will be the platform that you submit your work to me if it's been created digitally. So let's start with logging into your email. What you do is you go to your Google and you go to Google email, your Gmail. And actually, since I'm already logged in, I just have to put my password in. And then what you do is you go over here to the waffle and you click on the waffle and you're going to have all these different little things to click on. Well, here is the Google Drive that we're going to work with. So I'm just going to click on my Google Drive here. Now yours might look something like this where it's in list mode. What I want you to do is click on this little icon here and if you hover over it, it says grid view. Click on grid view and then it changes it into a series of icons and folders. Now this gives you a lot more maneuverability to grab something and drag and drop it into those respective files. Up here on the top it says folders and here's a variety of folders that I've generated. Now you as a student are going to have auto generated folders for each one of your classes. I do not want you to use those to store your work, submit your work, or anything because I've had reports from students that after graduation or after even the end of the school year, the contents of those folders are deleted. I want you to create yours manually. So to do that, let's say you're my 2D student or my graphic design student and you want to have a folder where you put all the things that I share with you. Okay, uh, What you do is you right click and go to new folder and we can type something in here like Mr. Verzat's class. Okay, so if I ever share with you a file, you can then put that file in there. And so here's that folder that I've just made. And uh, so, for example, I could drag, you know, this little document on color psychology in there and then double click on that folder. And look, there it is. All right. Now I can navigate back to my main drive page. And now let's say you're my student and you're in my 2D class and you've been assigned homework. So what I've done is I've sent you an email. Now in that email, I've shared with you a document. You can access, access those documents that have been shared with you here. So I'm going to click on shared with me and it's going to bring me to an, a screen where here's everything that all of my students have shared with me. You would see the document that I have shared with you for your homework and it would be called Google Docs homework or whatever. You can click on that and we can pretend that this is that. You would see everything in there. It's really cool using the Google Doc because I could have it open and be typing on it and then you could have it open and see me adding things in real time right there in front of you. It's pretty cool. So what do you do with this? Well, grab that Google Doc and go up to here and drag it into the area called My Drive. And if you hover over it, you're going to see the Mr. Verzatz class. Drag and drop that little fella in there. That way, you don't have to search through your email or dig through all these different folders and files that are saved. Just go to Mr. Verzat's class, boom, boom. Oh look, here's your homework assignment, boom, boom. There it is. It's easy as that. And if you're absent, the only thing you're going to miss out on is if I demonstrate how to do the homework. You'll kind of be on your own in that regard. All right, so this is for my students in my other classes where we do mostly what, everything digital. You know, for example, like the concept art class or graphic design. So uh, let's break this into two parts. Part one day-to-day -day operations. All right. So every day at the end of class, you save your work. Now what's more important, saving it to your thumb drive or to your Google Drive? Well, I say your Google Drive because what if your thumb drive gets lost and your computer crashes? Well, you can access your Google Drive anywhere in the world, download the file onto that computer that you're on and do the work there. Okay. So here is your Photoshop file that's humongous. Let's say it's like 500 megs or something. Well, what you do, again, you have a folder that you've created that's different from all those ones that the school has made for you. And every day you drag and drop that new file into that folder and upload it. Now, I would suggest that you do this. Every single day as you work, let's say this project is called Syllabus, okay? And you've worked on it um, today and it's class is over and it's time to save it. Well, what I want you to do is put the date in there. So for example, the date could be January 4th, 
2017 or something like that. You can put the date in and it lets you know exactly when you worked on that. And so then, as it's saved, you go in here, drag and drop it into your Google Drive. You'll see a little screen like this. Now, let's say you come in the next class and you then don't have your thumb drive or anything. You move to a different computer. Well, here is the file that you just saved. All right. So download that by right clicking on it. In your browser, you can just open that up directly, go into Photoshop, and work on it. So the class is over. Again, you save your work. It's time to back it up on your Google Drive. What do you do? Well, with your new file, name it the next date. Upload it to your G Drive. Now you see we have two separate files. This is your older one from the day before. This is your newer one from today. And so you can have a progression of history in the work that you've completed throughout the lab. And that can be very helpful. Let's say you make a really bad mistake and you need to go back in time. Well, you have your older file. So now we move on to how do you save your work on your thumb drive. So you insert your thumb drive into the USB port on your computer, whether it's in the, you know, the keyboard or the back of the monitor or something. And, and all you do is you open up what's called your finder. Your finder is found on the bottom left of your dock. You know, another thing you can do is if there's a file folder on your, on your desktop, just double click on that. And here is a list of all the areas that you can save the file to. Like you can save your desktop, your documents folder. Well, over here it says devices. Well, this would be your thumb drive. You can see a little eject signal right here. This is an external drive that I have plugged in. And all you do, it's the same process. Just drag and drop, pull it out, take it with you. Then you can work on it at home. Or if my lab is locked up, you can go to another lab that has Photoshop and do it. All right, submitting your work. How do you turn your work into me? These are Photoshop files. General rule of thumb, never share your PSDs with your client unless your client specifically asks for you to do so. The reason why is because you don't want to share all your secrets to people uh, who could then spread those to their in-house department and then you don't have an advantage in the market that you're trying to work at. So always save your finished product when it's done as either a JPEG or a PNG file. And you guys already know how to save your work in different formats, so I don't need to show you that. Another reason why is it cuts down on space when you guys share like, you know, 50 different files with me from 50 different students. Uh, I'd rather those files be in the megabyte range than the gigabyte range, okay, individually. Save your work as a JPEG or PNG. Upload it to your G Drive. It'll end up right there next to all your other exercises that you have and all your different generations of the same project. Now it's time to turn your work in. Here's how you do that. Right click on the file you want to share with me. Click on share, enter my email address, and then hit send. It's as easy as that. If you ever have questions, go back to this video again. If you have technical issues, come and get me and we'll problem solve it together. Hope you found this helpful. I'll see you in class.